Hey guys, it's Bieber. So, this is in regards to Miss Brasia Terrell. She is 10 years old. And she, Friday marks the two-week disappearance. She's been missing for two weeks. I'm not sure why I haven't seen this, just because, unfortunately, there's a lot of missing children. <sighs> Alright guys, let's read. Davenport, Iowa. The search for missing 10-year-old Brasia Terrell is ongoing, passing the two-week mark on Friday. Terrell's been missing since early morning, since the early morning hours of July 10th. Police said that she was last seen at the 2700 block of East 53rd Street, wearing a white t-shirt, shorts, white or pink flip-flops. On Friday, the FBI Omaha announced it's offering $10,000 reward for any information that leads to Terrell uh, or leads to arrest of anybody involved with her disappearance, the Davenport um, Police Department confirms. Now, the separate reward for $3,500 is being offered by Crime Stoppers in the Quad Cities and the department. Uh, let's see. What did I just seen something where it said that one of, I think the 3500 you you cannot remain anonymous. I believe is how that worked. No, actually, I think it's the FBI that you cannot remain anonymous. Um, let's read. Upon learning of Terrell's disappearance, Davenport Police Chief Paul Sorsky said the department uh, immediately entered into the National Crime uh, Information Center database and contacted the FBI and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, among other agencies. Christy Johnson, special agent in charge of the FBI Omaha Division, explained the involvement of the FBI in Terrell's case in an interview. Let's see. What's it say? The tools that the FBI brings to the table involves something called Cellular Analysis Survey Team, which is the phone analysis and looking for all phone records and location information. We also bring to the table something called Child Abduction Rapid Deployment Team, which is a team of 12 agents that come on scene here in town working day in and day out to identify any additional evidence that we need to try to bring the case to a successful conclusion. Well, that's great. I never even heard of such a thing. They should do that for every missing child under a certain age. Get real. God, I, that's just my opinion. Let's read. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We have an evidence response team out of Omaha that came here to assist. Well, that's good. We'll continue throughout the course of the investigation. Especially train check. Okay, guys, let's see what they got. Anything else? Uh, volunteers. She's just kind of saying what they're doing. Let me get to the information if you've seen her. Okay. On July 15th, Davenport police named Henry Dinkins as a person of interest related to this case. Police have released pictures of his vehicles and asked anyone who has information about his whereabouts to call to contact Davenport Police. According to police, uh, Dinkins is known at, to have previous connections to the Comanche and Clinton areas. Vehicles associated with Dinkins include uh, 2007 Maroon Chevy Impala, 2012 Black Chevy Camaro, and a 1980s Kings Highway Motorhome. All of these vehicles are currently being impounded and in the process in, in possession of investigators well that's good dinkins remains in custody on a sex offender registry violation which is a class d felony he was arrested july 10th registration violation charges oh god and that was the last time she was reported seen oh man god well i pray she's okay Dinkins has not been arrested or charged in Terrell's case, but police said he may have information that could assist in the investigation or possesses certain characteristics that merit further attention by investigators. Yeah, that's that's exactly what red flagged in my brain. We are asking the public's assistance for any information regarding Dinkins and associated vehicles during this time frame. 
of Thursday, July 9th from 10 p.m. to Friday, July at 12 p.m. We are requesting any information from the public that they may have on Dinkins' whereabouts in the Quad City area during that time frame. Let's see. Um, as investigators have continued their search for Terrell over the past two weeks, businesses and volunteers have offered resources and assistance. Terrell's mother, Alicia Langford, told um, TV6 around 9.13 p.m. on Thursday, July 9th. Brigia texted, Good night, Mommy, I love you. Wow. Um, I kind of had to read up a little more. I'm wondering where she was supposed to be at and all that. And I had texted her back and told her, Good night, I love you too. During the search, July 11th, uh, Langford told, TV6, I'm so blessed to have such an amazing community, especially with everything going on right now. There have been no arrests or charges announced in the disappearance. Uh, police are asking you to call Davenport Police Department 563-326-6125. And again, that number is 563-326-6125. Guys, if y'all ever hear me reading numbers and you really want to know the number, double check me because I'm slightly dyslexic and sometimes I say the numbers wrong and I don't catch it. But let's take another look at this pretty girl. Let's go look at some other pictures. Alright guys, this is Briasia. Let's go through this again. She's 10, 5 feet. Four inches tall, 75 pounds. She's just tiny. Um, black hair, brown eyes. W uh, last seen white t-shirt, shorts, and flip-flops. Early hours of um, July 10th, 2020 in the 2700 block of um, East 53rd Street. There's Briasia. Let's look at some more pictures. There's her family. That's her mom. I'm going to post a separate video with um, her mom giving an interview. Well, she's just talking, pleading for her child. Let's see. There's another picture. This looks like a school photo. All right, guys, let's get this baby's name out there. Let's share it. We just pray that she's found I can't imagine and we just gotta get our babies home y'all have a good one